Acute inflammation is a natural and protective response to specific insults. Inflammation results in response to insults including injuries such as cuts, wounds, overuse, bacterial, viral, and fungal infections, and a poor diet. In addition, the normal aging process is associated with a mild pro-inflammatory state termed inflammaging. When left unchecked, inflammation becomes chronic and can lead to tissue destruction and pain. Furthermore, when acute inflammation is unresolved, it develops into chronic inflammation with progression to chronic illnesses. This protracted inflammation is associated with complications related to wound healing and recovery from injuries, cardiometabolic diseases including cardiovascular disease and diabetes, mild cognitive decline, mood disorder, pulmonary conditions including asthma and allergies, joint pain and stiffness, and overactivity. Recent evidence has now demonstrated that the resolution of inflammation has distinct and specific mechanisms of response and actions and differs from the causes and onset of an increasing inflammatory response. This distinct mechanism is not and cannot be considered the same as suppression or blocking of the inflammatory process. The resolution of inflammation is an active process that is controlled by SPMs, specialized pro-resolving mediators. SPMs are naturally occurring lipid mediators that are associated with omega-3 fatty acids including EPA and DHA. Resolution of inflammation is an active process that is regulated by SPMs. SPMs are a newly discovered novel approach to inflammatory response that use specific mechanisms to resolve inflammation. Inflammatory insults are associated with edema, which is one of the earliest events in acute inflammation, arising from increased vascular permeability. This is illustrated using the response to a cut as an example. However, the response to other pro-inflammatory insults is similar. Leukocytes, mainly PMNs, polymorphonuclear neutrophils, are recruited at sites of inflammation, transmigrate blood vessel linings, and accumulate in the inflamed site to eradicate what is causing an inflammatory response. SPMs don't inhibit inflammation, but rather help facilitate or support the clearance of inflammatory components and thus resolve naturally the inflammatory process. SPMs limit the further recruitment of PMNs, but stimulate the recruitment of macrophages that organize the clearance of inflammatory exudates containing microbes and dying neutrophils. SPMs stimulate macrophage phagocytosis, resulting in the removal of apoptotic cells and or microbes and the clearance of PMNs from mucosal surfaces. A key component of the resolution process is enhancement of macrophage efferocytosis and bacterial killing, and to this end, phagocytosis has been established as a biological indicator of resolution in experimental, clinical, and animal studies. SPMs may also reduce pain and promote tissue repair and regeneration. SPMs are important naturally occurring mediators that function to actively keep the inflammatory response within physiological boundaries and accelerate the return to homeostasis. SPMs do not block inflammation, but rather support the unique and distinct resolution phase of the inflammatory process. Today, inflammation is considered the underlying issue contributing to many chronic illnesses. When left unmanaged, acute inflammation may lead to chronic inflammation. Even acute inflammatory conditions like infection and even surgical procedures contribute to unresolved inflammation. Clinical sciences now show that unique, naturally occurring lipid mediators can help resolve inflammation. These are called SPMs specialized pro-resolving mediators.